Back to the Japanese fucking nightmare. Radioactive water is threatening to overflow from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company has installed a decontamination system, but it's had to postpone a test run. It's aiming to start on Tuesday at the earliest. That's more than four days behind schedule. You know, I'm, who the fuck are you motherfuckers anyway? Now you fucking come out and confirm, yes, it was much worse. The the decontamination system is designed partly to remove cesium. TEPCO had to plan to start a test run last Friday, but it found that water was seeping from a pipe joint and that a pump wasn't working. To all you Japanese out there, I fucking, I mean, I really cry for you. TEPCO was planning five days of test operations, but it's uh, looking at ways to do the test more quickly because it needs to decontaminate the water as soon as possible. TEPCO says the radioactive water could overflow in about two weeks. The amount is growing by the day as fresh water is being injected into the reactors to keep them cool. What happened to you, the northern fucking peninsula fucking annihilated like that? It is a, you're done. The fucking northern peninsula of Japan, is, it's over. It's fucking over forever. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, has begun work to reduce the level of radioactivity in seawater near the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The company began full-fledged operation of two filtering devices on Monday after a series of test runs. The devices are installed near the water intakes of the plant's number two and three reactors where high radiation levels have been detected. They said that three of the containment vessels breached immediately as soon as the fucking earthquake. Not the tsunami, the earthquake. The devices are designed to pump up seawater and absorb radioactive cesium using zeolite before the water is returned to the sea. TEPCO says each device can treat up to 30 tons of seawater per hour and reduce cesium levels by 20 to 30 percent. The firm says it will find ways to increase the equipment's filtering capability. The devices are in submerged fences installed in April to prevent radioactive water from leaking to the sea, but radiation levels detected outside the fences have exceeded government safety standards. And if you don't think a nine-point earthquake can happen anywhere on these fucking reactors, you're fucking fool. It will fucking happen again. Radioactive strontium that exceeds the government set safety level was detected for the first time in seawater in the inlet next to the Fukushima Daiichi. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says it will monitor fish and shellfish in the area. It breached the fucking plutonium in the worst case scenario. As I've been saying the whole time, Chernobyl on fucking Balco. TEPCO says strontium-90 at a level 53 times higher than the safety standard was detected in samples taken on May 16th from inside the inlet, which is used exclusively by the nuclear plant. TEPCO also says it detected strontium-90 at a level 170 times higher than the standard near the water intakes outside reactor number two. At the reactor number three water intakes, the level was 240 times higher than the legal safety limit. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the result is not beyond their expectations since the substance was detected inside the plant's exclusive inlet. Radioactive strontium has a half-life of 29 years, can accumulate in the bones if inhaled, and poses a risk of cancer. We will closely monitor the cumulative effects on fish and shellfish in the affected area. TEPCO announced that strontium-90 was also detected for the first time in groundwater near the reactor's buildings. A groundwater sample taken on May 18th around reactor number two measured 6,300 becquerels per liter. And for reactor number one, the sample showed 22 becquerels. It leached into the fucking ground, into the groundwater. And think about this, think about this. Them spraying that fucking water on there for fucking days as that plutonium's leaching in. Do you know what that fucking ground fucking soil is fucking? Do you know what the fucking levels have got to be? They've got to be so psychotic all over. And not only that, you think that water just stays there? They had no bladder vessel to contain. It fucking leaked in. A health ministry paneled studies radiation levels in tap water in Japan's northeast and areas near Tokyo has concluded but it contains no safety risks at present. But it contains no safety risks 
at present. The panel was set up after radioactive iodine at a level exceeding Japan's safety limit for infants was detected in tap water in Fukushima and Ibaraki prefectures soon after the nuclear power plant accident in March. Since that time, the quality of tap water in those areas has remained within safety limits. The panel, which includes doctors and radiation experts, agreed that the tap water will likely remain safe as long as the situation at the nuclear power plant does not dramatically change. We're all fucking living it, all of us. Some guy told me the other day on my fucking site, he says, you suck, a Japanese guy. And I says, yeah, we all fucking suck. We all fucking suck fucking plutonium, every fucking one of us. But they noted that radioactive materials from the power plant may fall along with precipitation during the rainy season that is now underway and the typhoon season that will follow. They stress the authorities should maintain their regular safety inspections for several more months. And now, and we're talking about just the plume that went up in Vancouver, in BC. They're reporting all kinds of fucking triple fucking quadruple fucking doses over the fucking levels. You don't think that's happening in fucking Seattle, Washington, in fucking Oregon, California? Authorities have found lower levels of radiation in a survey conducted Monday in areas of Dante City in Fukushima Prefecture, where levels above the government set limit were found earlier this month. The latest survey was carried out at the behest of officials of the city, which is located about 60 kilometers from the crippled Fukushima plant and outside the evacuation zone. It followed a survey undertaken by the central government officials earlier this month that found accumulated radiation exposure levels in three areas of the city's Ryozen district exceeding the 20 millisievert per year limit. Some residents evacuated from their homes as a result of the findings. On Monday, measurements were taken in the Kami Oguni area, another spot where radiation levels had surpassed the government limit. Officials involved in the latest survey say the radiation level was found to be below the limit but was still relatively high. A survey involving experts from the central and Fukushima professional governments to check radiation levels at 645 spots in the city wrapped up on Sunday. The results are to be announced later this week. And to the fucking obedient fucking people who just fucking accept the Japanese fucking playbook, the government, or fucking TEPCO, what does it matter with you fucking people? I don't fucking play that fucking way. I More workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are being pulled off the job because they might have been overexposed to radiation. Japan's Health and Labor Ministry says six workers could have received doses above the allowable limit of 250 millisieverts. Tokyo Electric Power Company gave the ministry an update on Monday of its latest round of checks on plant workers. The ministry says the provisional amount of radiation exposure was nearly 500 millisieverts for each of the six male TEPCO employees in question. The maximum allowable dose for nuclear workers in Japan had was raised to 250 millisieverts from 100 after the crisis started. An additional 94 workers have been exposed to between 100 and 250 millisieverts. In late May, two typical employees on duty at reactors number 3 and 4 were confirmed as having received doses more than twice the emergency limit. The Health and Labor Ministry has told the utility to give all overexposed workers thorough examinations. It says it is very regrettable so many of them, so many of them have come into contact with such high levels of radiation. I'm a fucking American. Fucking, well, a lot of Americans play that way. Everybody says, oh, we're turning into Japan financially. Well, maybe we're turning into Japan fucking that way obediently, too. Our media is fucking turning into your media. The Japanese culture, I understand it. I understand you guys fucking accept, accept, accept. But there are some of you out there protesting. My hats go off to you guys. That took a lot of balls.